Hi Cancer, so welcome to your Oracle reading. This is for the week of April 1st through the 7th. Guys, it's already April. Wow. Time is flying. Yes. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see what the cards want to bring out for my Cancers. My Cancers. See what's going on with my Cancers. Pop first one out. We've got thoughts. Mm. Keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibrations. Yes. Pay attention to your thoughts. Any negativity, any, if there's impossibilities, think possible this week. Think outside the box. Mm -hmm. You've also got heart calling. Reveal your heart's calling. You have everything you need and now is the time to follow your heart's desires. The heart's calling. Oh, okay. Something trying to get in our way of our heart's calling. Yeah, let's don't think about it that way. So how can it actually bring you into the energy and benefit you in the heart's calling? Let's see what else come out here. Ooh, got sexuality. Embrace your sexual nature. Experience divine bliss and link your wild glow up power to the hot that hot cosmic energy glow up power is popped off of the card for me it's a time to shine and glow up for some reason mm. hang on because uh, what is what's coming to me it's there's like a negativity a shadow on this of like i feel like i'm being judged or criticized or or yeah, just criticized or judged uh, from others. And, and this is not a time. It's like, what is it? Bad criticism is still getting attention and influence. Ooh, does that make sense? Let's go one more on it. Come in on that sexuality for my cancers. Ooh, okay, right here. Inner child, connect with your inner child and listen to what your child self has to say as you move forward on your journey inner child we are being triggered guys something about um a neg negative negativity the way someone is viewing us is negative it's not so much the sexuality um but it's putting the shadow on others i think you know badly about this quality about me something where we're standing out because glow up popped from it uh that you keep shining you keep shining your light remove the negative thoughts of what you think they think because this is bringing some kind of attention that's going to benefit you in the long run in a very positive way but you might be sitting and going i don't think that's going to be positive <laughs> yeah universe is the big daddy in the sky is not always logical in the, the manner of how things get done. But, yeah, you're just going to have to have faith this week. But curb tell um, the negative thoughts. Because this is something that d does have to do with the heart's calling. What's on, on your heart right now. And it's being triggered from something you've experienced in the past. Some kind of gossip trigger. Um other people whispering like reputation that kind of thing mm -mm, not it's not the week to allow that to get in your way coming in on your thoughts thoughts what's on the thoughts what's going on there choose a path there are many paths before you but you may only choose one yeah choosing a path making a decision and not standing in procrastinating or indecisiveness choose a path um, it feels like a two of swords energy. It's going to be hard, but choose choose something. Don't keep standing because if you make a wrong decision, you can always choose to go back and do something over again or go a different direction. Coming in on heart calling, what do we got? Blessed ideas. Allow your ideas to come to fruition. And they will bring many blessings. Ooh, the heart calling. You've got an idea. Keep going with it. Don't allow others and what they think 
of you wanting to do it get in your way because it's on your heart to do it. Inner child over here in the criticism, the way others view me for some reason. Ooh, I know that feeling. We all do, guys. We all do. Path of knowledge. You're journeying into the realm of knowledge to assist you in your personal growth. To assist you in personal growth. So we're definitely dealing with a shadow trigger this week. Because we're going to grow from it on a personal level. So come back on. Choose your path. Let's see what will come out. And then any negative thoughts. Try to re-script them into something positive. Partition paper. Ask spirit for assistance. And it shall be granted. Clarify in writing what it is you're aiming for, guys. Uh, and do it privately. The seal means... It's your private thoughts. You've clarified things. You've wrote it down. And the only ones that can are allowed to know what's in that is spirit, the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. Or big daddy in the sky, the, your guides. Let's do it that way. Heart calling. What's coming on, on that? Your idea that's burning. You've got a Ouija. You're not alone. Your spirit guides are guiding the way. Yeah, you're not alone. It's like I said, you got something calling. Oh, a heart calling. You're wanting to do something. you want to try something. But there's this little block from earlier life of, no, you shouldn't do that. That's not proper. <laughs> yeah, let it go. Ooh, broomstick. Sweep away the clutter that complicates your life. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, going back to, into the dustbin for a minute and cleaning it out. The dustbin of our subconscious and, and the shadowy side of it. What's well, been programmed with that inner child? Hmm. We're using the shaman's or dream oracles. Let's see what will come out for my cancers. Coming in over here on your negative thoughts. Get it straight over here <laughs> with your petition paper. We got hollow bone teachability. Oh, you can learn something different. Yes, you can. What is that saying? You can't teach an old dog new tricks? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Hmm, okay. So, this is being open this week of... I think I know... I thought I knew everything, but I really don't. I'm learning new lessons every day. What else is coming out? Ooh, cat or pillar opportunity is beckoning you are you too domesticated to make a change the cat and the caterpillar that's the chrysalis stage uh think of a cat the curiosity the i'm going it even if i have to go it alone to begin with the cat does not need a crowd it will follow its instincts chrysalis stage we may be feeling like we're losing ourselves uh to refind ourselves think of like um Phoenix energy rising from the ashes. Ooh, and look, flames come out over here on your broomstick. Beloved, radical acceptance of self. Radical acceptance of self. Sexuality, inner child being judged. Uh, you're not, that's not proper, that kind of thing. You are coming into nurturing that inner child that got hurt, little child from the past, and going, you know what? You loved, you beloved radical self-acceptance i love that let's keep going with using the guardian angels y'all know i list it in the description box but there's never a link to it because it's got dorian virtue's name on it if you find it listed for sale it's outrageous we're not doing it don't do it it's not worth it <laughs> yeah Ooh. okay that was quick six successful Con successful completion you got the world card a new face letting go of the past and moving into a new face this is a time of incredible accomplishments or accomplishment you're justified in feeling joy a sense of completion and pride in the amazing job you've done you've been blessed with many spiritual insights soon you'll begin a new journey but for now, take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true. Your heart's calling, guys. There's only one thing that is saying is standing in your way. And that's over here. I feel judged by other people. 
that kind of thing mm -hmm. and remember your hollow bone over here is about i can learn new tricks here i can i can there's no such thing as i can't we've got helper of abundance Although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person could be you. And I dare to say, it is you. Yes. I love that. I love that. Cancers. I love this. Let's, we're doing something different this week, guys. I mean, I'm always excited to do something different. We're using the book of answers, Carol Bolt's book of answers. Yes. Hmm. Let's see what the book wants to bring out when it comes to you being teachable adaptable i can learn new things i can do this what does it want to say about that hollow bone let's find right there you'll have to compromise mm -hmm. you'll have to make compromises in order to go in the new direction mm -hmm. you'll have to compromise mm -hmm. and that is to get over thinking you that you this just set in stone no it's not it's time to open up and become the student again on your cat or pillar <laughs> opportunity what does the book want to say on that one you know better now than ever before yeah you know better now than ever before you're smarter wiser you've got more experience than the past let's talk about the past and that radical acceptance and beloved beloved see where it's at where am i feeling it right there uh oh you'll have to make compromise again there's compromises you have to make mm -hmm. in order for you to get into fullness of heart calling most of the compromises is within yourself and the way you're judging yourself, not not the outer self, is all in yourself. Oh, I love that. Let's go ahead and pull you some messages from Spirit this week. Close my cancers off. What does Spirit want to bring out for my cancers? Find your joy. What brings you real joy? Mm-hmm. What else? Life is aligning for your best and highest potential. Mm -hmm. Let's go one more here and see if we can get one more. It's for my cancers. Ooh. Oh, I love this one, guys. It's only darkest before the dawn. Mm hmm only darkest before the dawn cancers i hope it was helpful guys y'all stay blessed